everyone and welcome to another high low game of age of empires today check your nuts and your seas for any rough coverings with small hooks that can stick to your clothes as we have the battle of the burrs with hera playing as the burgundians in blue taking on mr yo playing as the burbers in red now the players heard their herdables explore their immediate surroundings and try to get their butts up to castle age asap not a bad time for us to take a look at the Civ matchup that we are going to be watching today. Now, the Burgundians are an oddball civilization with some of the craziest features in the entire game. To start with, they do focus primarily on cavalry, being the only Civ in the game with access to cavaliers in the Castle Age. And their unique unit, one we saw a few days ago, the Custelier, is a medium cavalry shock unit that has a massive plus 20 or 25 charge attack. Now, if the situation is dire, for whatever reason you find yourself in need of large numbers of army, while well, the Burgundians can conscript their entire civilian population by turning each and every villager. Not too sure why I highlighted the sheep. This sheep cannot be turned into their second unique unit, the cavalry killing Flemish militiaman. Economically, Burgundian stable techs are cheaper. Their relics generate food in addition to gold. They get all economic upgrades and age earlier and for cheaper and their farmers can be upgraded by allowing them to generate a small amount of gold while they work their farms, till their fields, and so forth. We've got Mysterio playing as the Berbers in red already, trying to bust his way into this base, which Hera is making a very nice effort to wall off. Let's take a look at those Berbers, a sieve that pushes its players towards the four welcoming hooves or legs of cavalry. They can upgrade their camel units to regenerate HP and their castles to work faster, both of which strongly benefit their first unique unit, the Camel Archer, a fast-mounted archer, the unit that comes with a small attack bonus against cavalry archers. Not too sure why I said small, it's just a general decent-sized attack bonus against cav archers. Now, all Berber stable units get progressively cheaper as the game goes on, starting in the Castle Age, which can help them master second unique unit, the Genitor, Basically, a mounted skirmisher that comes with more HP, less range, and does cost a little bit more food than your usual skirmisher because, hey, you gotta buy some oats, some carrots, some sugar cubes for that horse that they ride. Now to get their economy up and running, ASAP Berber villagers do move 5% faster than normal in the Dark Age, and then 10% faster after that. Very excited to cast this game. We've got basically a very powerful cavalry civilization against a very powerful camel civilization both with two unique units, although one does have a pretty bonkers ability, what we have all lovingly begun calling the button here as two pikemen. Speaking of mounted unit versus mounted unit, for now the only action on the map at the five minute mark is a few spearmen fighting each other. Looks like they're going to actually reducing their HPs at the exact same time, but uh-oh, wait, why did uh, why did Mysterio back away there? A free kill almost. Okay, he is chasing Hera's spearmen as his scouts engage into the stable to the north. Ooh, they still both have three HP. Who will get the first poke? It looks like Mr. Yo draws first blood. Our Berber gets the first kill of the game. And now Hera is heading south. He knows that there's a very weak spearman somewhere here, somewhere in the ether. He doesn't know like we have this radar system exactly where it is, but now that he catches wind of it, will he pivot south immediately? This is basically a free kill for him, no? He will take 18, 18 HP in damage, but uh, so be it. You got to risk it for that biscuit. And right now, Hera, having seen that there are no more scouts present, is chasing. But he is chasing with the Spearman. Again, I, he probably could have killed this unit about 30 seconds ago. And now he's finally going to, again, does take 18 HP of damage on one of these scouts, which is not the end of the world. Hera usually likes to send his injured scouts out to... Basically, Scout, as the name implies, around the map. And Mysterio takes a 2-1 to one kill lead. Having killed a Scout. Was it that weak, Scout? Well, they're all kind of weak right now. <laughs> Is this base open at the moment? No, it's not open. So <laughs> Mr. Yo gets a little trapped inside his own little alleyway just north of that barracks as Hera continues chasing Spearman, Spearman. Scout, Scout, what are the HPs? Oh yeah, Hera's Burgundian Scouts have so much more HP than their Berber counterparts. So if Mysterio takes this fight, he is going to lose all three. I suspect Hera may lose just one or so of his units. And I see a red dot at the northern portion of the map, probably one of the weaker units of Mysterio. No, surprisingly. We got yet another Battle of the Spearmen up here. 
both players are now in the castle agent <laughs> there it is two kills a piece maybe two to one for somebody here is Hera I'm not sure that's was he on the high ground kind of looks like he was on the high ground just very much on the edge of the ledge there on that little hill two extra town centers for our Burgundian two extra structures one town center one castle for our Berber why is he rushing a castle so quickly, our Berber. Maghrebi camels, the upgrade that allows their camel units to regenerate for the Berbers is an Imperial Age upgrade. So right now he can technically upgrade his castle to work faster. Oh, he's going camel archers. Interesting. Okay. Camel archers against the, uh, the Burgundians. Not uh, perhaps something I would have expected to see. The Burgundian archer line is not perhaps the greatest. They are missing heavy cav archers, no thumb ring, no Parthian tactics, and if you take a look at the top, no final armor upgrade. I think that's the ring archer armor upgrade. And so going camel archers will give Mysterio mobility, speed, and the ability to dart in and out of this Burgundian base. We'll see if he makes use of that for now. Sees a spearman. Spearman sees the scout. Neither player really reacting. By the way, we are on Karsts, which I think, based on the number of maps that these players have been playing, first of all, things are really heating up on the Empire War, Empire Wars ranked ladder. There are a lot of games. If you're wondering why you're seeing Mysterio versus Hera multiple times this last week or so, it is because these two titans have been just clashing endlessly on the rank ladder, as have a bunch of... Ooh, a bunch of impressive players. And surprisingly, this map has really become from at least for anecdotally from my experience. I can't speak on the whole. I'm not a website that tracks all of these various things. But from what I've seen, these players have just been absolutely loving Karsts. And what the hell's not to love? Look at the resources. You start with basically more than double the stone, more than double the gold of a normal Arabia map. There's strewn a boot, as my fellow Canadians would say, these rock formation, these karsts. Everyone starts with a fairly defensible base with four forests around the edges. Oh, surprisingly did not get the monk as Hera, I believe, was healing that monk with his rear monk. So everyone does start with a bit more of a defensible base. Mysterio kind of got a little screwed here having a third forest that's the size of two forests as opposed to one back here. But he does have a karst to the rear. And so does manage to claim all of those juicy resources. Whereas Hera doesn't have any karst inside of his base. So Hera's base a bit easier to wall off. Mysterio with the wall off has secured himself a good amount of resources. This is not a small amount of gold and stone that he is mining quite safely away from the prying eyes and the hungry swords, the bloodthirsty swords of Hera's light cavalry units. And Hera's going cavalier. I've said this before, the Burgundians are such a sort of Damocles civilization when you play against them. Are you going to get hit in Castle Age with cavaliers? Are you going to get hit in Imperial Age with Flemish militiamen and the revolution, the button? It is just such a big question mark, and you really need to scout really well as Hera here does exactly that. And we'll catch out a monk. Uh, Hera, we'll catch out a monk. Okay, doesn't see the monk. The monk looking for relics. He's not really going to find any here, but does discover another karst with another karst rather with a lot of resources. Ooh, okay. Scout line unit does manage to get inside the base. We'll see what he can discover, what he get a can get accomplished. Looks like he's running underneath the town center. Mysterio loses a camel archer to a conversion, but Hera loses the monk that converted him to both players. A bit of a scrap here, scrape knee, bruise here and there along the ribs. Nothing too crazy. Hera is housed at 95. Man, oh man. I wonder if it's an Empire Wars thing because we have just been seeing the top players get housed repeatedly in Empire Wars. And I wonder if it's that quicker start with 28 villagers for uh most of the civilizations Ooh, Hera, Hera might have some uh some more monk monks getting sniped never mind i mean he did get one monk snipe but he did manage to get another 
Camel Archer. He's managed to accumulate three, now four Camel Archers. So as quick as these Camel units are, they are not quick enough to escape the random number generator of death here for our Burgundian. And by the way, did Mr. Yo see the Cavalier? Did he see the Cavalier? Because I'm not sure if he saw the Cavalier, he would continue investing in these Camel Archers as opposed to just your basic Camels. He does have... 80 villagers to the 84 of his opponent. How many on food? 34 on food to Harris 29. 12 on gold to Harris 5. Harris got a lot more villagers on wood. So I'm assuming we're going to get to see some kind of infrastructure boom out of him. Oh no. One, two, three, four monks die for one camel archer. And now he definitely has seen the cavalier. Harris heading up to Imperial Age. With the Burgundians, because their stable techs are 50% cheaper across the board, it's not like the, uh, for example, the Bulgarian stable uh, stable techs, the Bulgarian technologies for the Siege Workshop, for example, that cost less food. These are 50% cheaper across the board. If he's going heavy into the Cavalier, there's a chance we might see Paladins. And if we see Paladins, uh, bad news bears for the Camel Archer, unless it can maneuver, run around kite and stutter step its way to a victory but for now forget paladins we are seeing 16 light cavalry units Hera is ahead one villager he's ahead 10 army count he's built his population up where he's got almost 70 population room available to him and he is doubling down on the stables going up to six of them how much has mr yo seen here he hasn't seen anything he hasn't been here since literally the stone age and I thought he was going to go Camel Archer because he wanted to move in, he wanted to poke, he wanted to kill some villagers, but so far, he's uh, treating these Camel Archers like they're pretty much melee cavalry by trying to bust them in through the center of Hera's position. And now he's going to get rear ended by these four Cavaliers, which are going to close husbandry for Hera, husbandry for our Berber, who is now getting cast by. He does have two castles up. Now that will allow him to start pumping out those Camel Archers quite nicely. They are also getting the second armor upgrade. I believe it's a 25% faster working castle. So not quite chivalry for the Franks, not quite perfusion for the Goths, but not a bad tech to get, especially if you're doubling down on your unique unit. Hera hits Imperial. Hera immediately gets a Treb. Monsieur needs to throw in some kind of melee meat shield here. I mean... You can snipe <laughs> Hera with the monk micro. Does a little dance, a little jig, and then saves that monk. How did he save them with uh, against 17 or 16 camel archers with ballistics? I have no clue. Town center going to the south here. Hera sees that. Hey, wait a second. Mysterio's not doing any real kind of raiding or side attacks or hydra maneuvers as the caster you're listening to likes to call it. And there it is. Paladin in two minutes is about to slam into the Burgundian base and Hera is building a fantastic army. You've got your light cavalry units to raid the hell out of the economy. Meanwhile, you're gathering your heavier units in the center. I'm assuming to bust through the center with these trebs and just a fantastic, fantastic army composition out of our Burgundian who, oh, even though Mr. Yo tries to wall this off, is unsuccessful. And now those light cavalry units are going to be running amok. The camel archers are too busy attacking them. By the way, the camel archers are down like 30% of their HP, which is never a good position to be in. Paladin is now a minute away. I love the double wall off of house and palisade and all of the light cavalry units to the rear have been killed. Looks like Hera has an eight villager kill lead to two, but Mr. Yo has 46 kills to 28. His economy is just a little bit smaller, about 10% smaller, but his army, even though he has 22 Camel Archers, I don't think he's ready in 30 seconds for what's about to hit him. Especially if this castle falls. I don't know that how many villagers are repairing this. Only nine against three trebs, two of which, by the way, are on the high ground. This one might be on the high... No, not on the high ground, based on how that circle is kind of bent here. Two of these trebs are on the high ground, which means bye-bye castle. Only 76 stone left for our Berber. He does have two more castles to the south. And now he's going... Uh, 
<laughs> okay. I mean, Berber, all, remember, all of their stable units are 15% cheaper in Castle Age, 20% cheaper in Imperial. Did Mysterio think he would have time to train an Imperial Age army? And here they are, Burgundian Paladins, a little bit lackluster, like their Celtic friends, missing bloodlines. But aside from that, a serviceable Paladin. I mean, what the hell is not a serviceable Paladin with 160 HP? Does need to get some attack upgrades. Seven Pierce Armor against a unit that attacks on a 12. Means that there are not enough Camel Archers here to one-shot. And forget one-shotting, they're getting converted en masse by these Burgundian Monks who are now under attack by a couple of light cavalry units to the left. We'll see how many of those he can kill, but the army is falling here. It takes a four times larger army count lead, and that's... Yeah, that's what you get. Why did Mr. Yo build an army of camel archers and then not do any raiding at all? He must have been trying something new. Sometimes on the rank ladder, you see some uh, new, wonky, interesting builds. Usually Mr. Yo, probably ooh, one of the best, if not the best, in the Hydra attack, which is what I call the multi-pronged attacks, multiple heads on the Hydra, cut one down, more spring up, hail Hydra says Mr. Yo, usually, but now? I mean, this is an area that could have been damaged. Oh my god, I think his uh, cam launchers could have just parked themselves here and gotten so many villager kills. Then there's over here. I mean, his scouting is incredibly bad this game, Mr. Yo's. Again, he hasn't been here <laughs> since the feudal age. So the barracks has grown. There's an inn on top of it now. And all the cool nifty features. Hera, for his part, playing the Burgundians to a T. Hey, you're not going to attack my economy? LOL. I'm just going to go Paladin. Because I don't see a single freaking melee cavalry unit out of you. Not a camel, not even light cav right up until the very end. So Mysterio wasn't even able to contest the monk play with any kind of light cavalry units. He wasn't that far down in economy. Hera didn't kill that many more villagers of Mysterio's right up until that uh, intrusion the penetration of the light cavalry up until that moment the the villager kill leads were low and to be honest they're still low for both players Harris killed 10 to 2 Mysterio's on the whole killed more army i'm assuming that's going to be a lot of monks and a lot of light cavalry units it's definitely not going to be a lot of paladins up to 160 hp with seven pierce armor and the castle falls i can't even click on it anymore which tells me it has crumbled and now there's a forward burgundian castle more trev so Hera says, hey, you know what I'm going to do if you're going to leave me alone? I'm just going to steroid the hell out of my game. I'm going to go full on economy. I'm going to go up to 123 villagers. And then I'm just going to start pumping out paladins out of eight stables. 46 villagers on gold. If ever there was a map to do that on, it is Karst's. And there's still, despite a 20... I mean, the game wasn't very long. The action was very uh, nice. The game wasn't very long, but even 27 minutes into the game, there's still 54,000 gold left on this map. And speaking of golden stats and all that good stuff, let's take a look at all of it. Paladins to camel archers, light cavalry to light. I mean, come on. This was, uh, what, a few scouts in the beginning of the game and then a few light cavalry at the end. 20 monks. We're going to have to see how many conversions Hera got with 20 monks because that's 2,000 gold. Uh, dipping below as usual, 200 APM. 200 plus APM right towards the end of the game. Mysterio in the middle of the game. Okay. The economies. Again, I can't see them being too dissimilar here. Yeah, Hera, Relic Gold, basically identical. Hera's ahead by, what is that, like 5% the economies? I, I just don't understand why Mysterio doubled down on that kind of army again. He must be trying something new. Or he must just be trying something. Our Berber does have more stone, more wood, more food and gold. There's your paladin right there. 2,000 more food when look at that about what is that 3,300 more gold than his opponent so that gold is very much uh very much helping to pay for not only the paladins but also remember the monks is, are eating up 2,000 of that gold and let's see how many conversions 12 conversions out of 60 is exactly 20 percent of the Berber army and unless I'm mistaken all if not most, then uh, actually, all, what's the exception? All, if not most, of those conversions are camel archers. And look at that, Mysterio managed to get a conversion of his own. Adorable. But look at the total armies. 102 melee cavalry to 60, basically 
on the whole, ranged cavalry raising three to zero. And it's not like Hera was also doing an active job exploring around the map. He sends a few paladins this way. If they were Frankish, maybe I'd I'd understand in terms of vision, because they do come the Frankish nightline units with extra line of sight. But Hera himself, not really interested in doing a lot of extra curricular scouting activities. He hasn't even seen this castle, which is very interesting as well. So unfortunately, Mr. Yo did a great job defending his base, walling it off, didn't really succeed over here and allowed those light cavalry units to bust their way in, although they could have just as easily busted their way in through here. Ultimately, though, nothing to prepare against this absolute onslaught, this paladin transition, which he did catch fairly... I wouldn't say early on. I don't think he saw the Cavaliers right away. But man, the Berbers can answer a Paladin charge in kind. 20% cheaper heavy camels. And by the way, not only 20% um, cheaper camels, but camels that also regenerate at 15 HP per minute. Uh, and that's a flat. Although I guess it's an Imperial Age, right? I was, I was trying to think of the Georgian mounted units that regenerate 5, 10, 15 HP. 15 is an Imperial, but because Maghrebi Camels is an Imperial Age upgrade, you can't really get it before Imperial. So it's on par with the Georgian Cavalry Regeneration. And uh, unfortunately, we didn't get to see a Camel, heavy Camel, I should say, uh, Paladin battle. What we got to see is a Paladin slaughter. And Mr. Yo realizes that ends the game halfway through the battle. Two castles down, a third one. He's geared, look at his upgrades. He's geared his entire, his entire economy, his meta, his whatever you want to call it, build order, etc. Towards ranged mounted units for the Berbers. And two of the three of his production buildings has fallen. These two stables are very cute, but they're not going to really accomplish very much at this point. Even a basic camel rider with a plus nine attack bonus against paladins is not going to last very long. And it is Hera with the absolute wrecking ball that is the somewhat lackluster, but still pretty damn powerful Burgundian paladin that takes the battle of the Burrs and with it the W, but truly GG to both players. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips and make sure to subscribe and enable notifications so that you're notified of my latest uploads.